Hi guys, my name is Guillermo Delgado and today I'm going to show you how to watermark a picture on another picture using GIMP or GIMP. Okay, so now that you know what I'm going to show you right now, I'm going to minimize this window. I'm going to go to GIMP. I'm going to open up GIMP. And there it is. And the first picture that I'm going to open up is going to be my background picture. Okay, so I'm going to click on File, then Open. And I'm going to look for the background picture. And the background picture is going to be right here. All right, so that's going to be my background picture. I'm going to span the window so I can see the picture really well. And the second picture is going to be the picture that I'm going to watermark on top of this picture. So my second picture is going to be the foreground picture. So I'm going to click on File, but instead of Open, I'm going to click on Open as Layers. So I'm going to click on Open as Layers, and I'm going to look for that picture. It's right here. And as you can see, the picture I'm going to watermark is on top of the background picture. So I'm going to move the foreground picture right now by clicking on this tool right here, the Move tool. It's right here. Click on it. Then come back to the picture and move the picture, drag the picture to the area where you want the picture to be at. Alright, so for me, I like it right there. Alright, then to watermark this picture, all you have to do is press Shift, Shift plus E on your keyboard. So I'm going to minimize this, and I'm going to do that right now, Shift and E. And as you can see, it's going to open up this uh, menu right here. The only thing that you have to worry about here, or that I, that I worry about when I do my watermarks, is the opacity. Move it down to 30. And I got it at 30.2. And for your brush, you're going to select your brush. Click on the brush icon for picture. Select your brush. And now you're going to go come to the picture that you're going to watermark. Place the mouse on top of the picture and left click. And start watermarking your picture like this. Okay? Now, once you start watermarking and you have your finger on, on the left click side of the mouse, do not let go of that mouse. Do not stop. Do not stop uh, pressing on the left click because if you do and then you come back again your the, the color of your watermark is not going to be evenly on all parts or a sequel on all parts of the picture that you are watermarking okay so I'm just I'm just doing the top right now and as you can see do not let go of your mouse and and very soon you're gonna you see how the colors are fading okay so I'm done but is this good if this good is is this good enough for me no I want it like more faded okay so at this point I'm gonna let go of the mouse and all you have to do is again left click on your mouse and start watermarking again all right and as you can see the colors are going are going out right now again do not let go of the mouse because if you let go and then you come back then the what the colors of the watermark picture are not going to be equal on all parts of the picture okay so do not let go. This is a time that you don't want to let go of the mouse. Okay, so I'm doing like this. And as you can see, I'm almost finished. I gotta do the bottom right now. Uh, 
Okay, so I'm finished. I'm finished with the picture. All right, so, all right, so is that good enough for me? Not really, but right now, since you got the idea, I'm gonna finish my picture and then I'm gonna come back. So I'm gonna pause the, the video so I don't, I don't wanna make this video too long when I don't need to, okay? So right now, just hold on and I'll be right back. Okay guys, I'm back and as you can see, uh, I finally finished my watermark, well, my watermark mark picture. Sorry about that. And this is what I wanted to look, make it look like. Um, and all you have to do once you finish with that is click on File, and then click on Save, and then click on Export, and then click on Save. And now the two pictures have been combined into one. And all I have to do is just close everything, cause I'm done. And I can look up for that picture right here, and it's right there. And this is gonna be my watermark picture, where I'm gonna start putting some text and more pictures, and it's gonna look pretty nice. But this is uh this is what I wanted to show you today, guys. And I hope you can find this video useful. Give me a thumbs up if you like it. Contact me uh, through my link below if you want to. Thank you so much, and have a great day all. Thank you. Bye.